connected. Channel switched. Hey, Fee. I have. I'm excited for you to play this. Why are you so excited? Dare I ask? Because I really love this game and I think your reactions to it are going to be great. Fair enough. Fair enough. I just gotta set a uh, subscriber goals up and we're ready to go. I'm gonna go send out the tweet. Ooh, only four off of 5k? Fingers crossed. Do what? According to what I can see, you're four off of 5k. Oops. Welcome to the Army of Fiora, Draconis 15. Welcome to the Army of Fiora. That's a good start. I haven't welcome. even started the stream really yet, and, and <laughs> person shows up. How you guys doing? Ohio Gazimus. Sorry? <laughs> Ohio... How's Japanese? Ah, okay. Alright, let's get the Facebook group involved. I'm summoning the minions. Who are the minions? They're you guys. Oh yes, very minion-y minion we are. I can just imagine you guys as all little bitty yellow guys, but with foxtails. Um, I love a horse tail instead. I'd have to be a grizzly bear. <laughs> Little grizzly bear running around. Uh, See, I'm imagining this is basically you're playing the bartender in a Shadowrun game. Um. Yes, and um, yeah. That could yes, be given given the setting, um, the the idea of the corporations running everything is only citywide in this game, but that's semantics given. You only ever experience the city, so. <sighs> Apparently, if you sit idle long enough, um, it starts back over. So I am actually going to kick it over to the game now and read it. A city that shouldn't exist. A tax haven where corporations and criminal empires reign supreme. In this place, all human life has been infected with nano machines to keep them in check. Over the over them stand the white knights, the very gates of. <laughs> the very gatekeepers of the corruption. Here, brutally in all its forms as everyday reality, the quality of life for the non-powerful decreases at an alarming rate. For many, this can be overwhelming to devote yourselves to your job, your family, or their studies. Some look for ways to escape this place, and others just give up. But for many of them, the answer lies at the bottom of a glass. On a small road just seconds away from the main street, somewhere near the slums, you will find Hall A of a BT certified Valhalla. But that's a mouthful, we just call it Valhalla. A small oasis in the middle of a concrete desert, a fountain of spirits waiting for tired souls. And that's where this story is going to unfold. Just so you all know. Yep. <laughs> I do all that epic reading, and then at the end of the video, I go, oh, by the way, that's where all this is happening. <laughs> oh, and by the way, before we even get started on it, yes, pricing in this place is ridiculous. Fair enough, I'm about to... The, the, the cheapest drink is $80. Uh, I'm doing final checks now. Everything looks good to go, so... We're gonna take a look at what you guys see. You guys see crystal clear, so we're, I'm gonna hit the start button. Cool. Thank you for playing VA TAC 11 Hall TAC A. This game is best played getting 
getting comfortable, grab some drinks and snacks and enjoy. Sit back and relax. We hope you have a good time. What were we going to say, Tom? We are going to have a good oh, time. Oh, I'm just going 80 new yen for a drink? Yep. Bartender is a hunchback, is he? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Hey, well, I over here. That's, that's not his ass. But that's not his hunch. That's his ass. Because everything Boom. else is so damn high. Let's cut down the music and the sound effects just a little bit more. How's that for an entrance? Come on. Joe, look sharp. The game's starting and the player dun, needs to dun. have a first good first impression of its main character. How meta are we gonna go? Like, we the first three lines in the game when we're breaking fourth wall. Oh yes. <laughs> I know you served a bunch of tuxedo clad corgis over the week. What? <laughs> now I just have this image of like 30 corgis in tuxedos being served rare wine. No, rare wine would be a bit posh for this place. <laughs> and I'll admit my little prank of you might have gone a little overboard. Remember, life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused and look at the brighter side of things. I have no idea what the brighter side is, but you should totally find it! Well, this is starting off swimmingly. <laughs> In case, you should totally check the parcel you just got. See ya. You know, every time somebody walks into a Shadowrun bar and hands out a package, everyone panics. Because that's the appropriate reaction. <laughs> well, in this case, it's uh, it's your apartment and it's a package that just got posted through your door. That opening. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, hey Magey Sickle. Wow, are you new? Hi! Hey, Hoovian. Hello, Janet. What's up, Lexi? Hey, Hetty. You're already here. Hey. Fun holes! I miss you! Hey. There's something near the door. Oh, God. Chapter 1. Primera. By the way, for those interested, next week we're starting Mafia 3 and Cluster Truck. Your membership right, so to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 in it by then. Make sure to save your data using the Life Backup app. Wow, that, that... You can now browse the augmented eye. So nobody... So who was the letter from? Nobody. Four is the cap, by the way. What, what do you mean, four is the cap? The character four, F-O-R-E, is the cat that's killed up oh. on top of the Katetsu. The cat talks to me?! They cover that. That's amazing! Looks like this, there's a reason it's in speech form. Mass immigration continues as... Emer Wonderlanders are the newest threat. Cyborg in heels returns next year. Oh, I can control the music. Cool. Okay. Um, I guess go to work. Good evening! Wow, you're kind of metro handsome in the weirdest way. <laughs> I have the oddest lady boner suddenly. Oh, hey, John. When you will admit you have a John face skill. When you let people, when I uh, call you Jules. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm distracted. Where's the boss? Don't know. She went out to buy some stuff and... Did you hear what I just told you? You said something. <laughs> That's paying attention. <laughs> I'm very distractible. All you have to do is throw like a yarn ball past me and I might go chase it. Or a stick. Or a tennis ball. Any of these things are fine.
Oh, by the way, very few proper drinks are served in a bar. They're all mixers made up of the ingredients on the right side of the screen. I, I kind of guess I would have to mix shit. You even have to mix a beer. I don't know how to do that. It explains There's also it. the fact that I spent an hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Yeah. That happens! Not to mention the fact that two days ago I found out the bar is at risk of closing. So not only is my life shaken up, I'm apparently going CRAZY! <laughs> yes! On top of that, neutering four left me with a completely empty wallet and I have to and I'll get evicted if I miss my run again. Poor kitty. <laughs> and there's all the beer cans around my apartment and Jill! Wake up! Did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course! Mostly! <laughs> We'll have this discussion! Damn it, Hoopy, and do not throw a tennis ball past me right now. I might actually chase it. <laughs> Let's go to the basics then, shall we, just in case. Uh, if you can make a piano man, I'll skip the rest, but bear with me for a second here, okay? Let's start with sh a sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar to look at the recipe book at the top left. Where's the recipe book? It pops up when you can find to mix drink. You can also just... sort drinks by flavors of sweet or types like MANLY! Cause when I walk into a bar I want the manliest drink ever. Rolls a ball of tinfoil in front of the pie. Jumps on it to inspect for food! <laughs> when done pressing the mix button and then press it again to stop mixing, click the serve button or the drink or the drink will s itself to serve it. Oh, but if the drink looks messed up, you'll need to press the reset button and try again. You can press reset at any time, even though the shake well, the shaker's moving. Don't be afraid to use it. Gil, I'm the one that went through the formal BTC instruction. Then this should be no problem. Fine. Welcome back, Jill. Use the navigator bar to start browsing. A piano man is... Don't make the piano man. It skips the tutorial. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Look, that's what make? this is. This is the tutorial. HOLY the SHIT! These drinks are expensive! As I say, the cheapest drink is 80. Powder Delta... Sweet, light, and fluffy, as girly as it gets. It's... He's told me to make the girliest drink in the bar! Yep. Okay, how do I put away the book? Uh, you just serve the drink. Uh, so click on the drink or click on serve. Happy now! Are you... Are any of you really happy? Actually, my hair works out quite well in this environment. <laughs> Not quite. Let's do one more. Uh, I know, I know. Please humor me. Some drinks need to be blended. This is done by mixing it for over five seconds. You can tell it's being blended when the shaker starts moving faster. You also need to check if the drink should be served on the rocks or aged. Check ice and aged buttons on the side. Just like the one you need. And in case it isn't obvious, on the rocks means you have to toggle the ice tab. It should be noted, however, the situation will add the ice after mixing. It's not something you should mind, though. Just a fun fact. Give me a moon blast and I'll leave you alone. My name Moon Blast! Good God. Six of that? Six Adels? God, are you gonna turn into Mr. Hyde on me? And yes, I totally just did that fun. You can shoot me all later. <laughs> oh, by the way, the, the commentary is the alcohol in the drink. On the rocks and blended. Eldel Hyde is the sugar. Ew. Bronson extract is Whoops. the bitter. Let's try this again. I might have screwed the pooch a little bit. 
I forgot to add six. I only added five. You did. <laughs> That's my bad. No! Stir that up to its happy contentness. Here, did I amuse all of you long enough mixing drinks yet? <laughs> or should I start or should I actually go downstairs and get glasses and start doing tricks? <laughs> um, just as a fun fact, the way you influence the game is the, in the drinks you serve to the customer. If the recipe uses optional Carmotrine, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. I think we're gonna fill all of the ones that say optional with as much as we can! That was about to get extremely kinky in my chat! Please tone it down to PG-13 from NC-17! <laughs> Thank you! Are you done with the exposition yet, Gilliman? Or do you have more of Gilliman's travels to regale us with? Oh, you are now. Okay. Hey, guys. Oh, well. I don't know if you mentioned it, but double the amount to make the drink big if it's got less than 11 yep. items in it. So 10 items is a small, 11 or more is big. It's either leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest or bring her unconscious body in here. WHY IS SHE UNCONSCIOUS?! Great, she's, she's, she's gonna go totally nuts and now the, the responsibility is getting dumped on me! <sighs> yeah, but we like you, Hovian, otherwise we wouldn't have you in here. I still think the music's just a bit loud. Anyway, um, so guys, the stream is supported on you guys. If I have entertained you so far, please remember to hit the like button and uh, leave a tip if you can, because every little bit counts and every little bit makes it where like I can keep doing this. Do you think Chief knocked her out? Nah, it's not likely. She's crowned. Or Tom, to guess if that was there, the case. There, hit the like button. Yay! Did you smack it so hard it went, okay, don't hit me, man, no more master? I'll let you know when it wakes back up. Good point! <laughs> well, you spent the whole weekend of Monday doing God's Know What. We've had some interesting clients come in, and now you need dogs. Lots of them. And now I'm sending you to bathroom duty! It's on the I don't care! <laughs> oh, the later conversations they have about that one are interesting. <laughs> so it's punishment for leaving me to deal with the tuxedo-suited corgis. You have to clean the bathroom. Yes. I brought the cleaning stuff from home. <laughs> I can imagine. Just to make sure you hadn't hid it, hidden it this time. Have you got to the bit where he walks into the bathrooms yet? <laughs> yeah, I now have to set up the music for the night? Yep. Interesting. There's some really good tracks in this game. I'm picking... Oh, there's one named after me. I'm going to pick that one, of course. Uh, I'm picking these at random. If you guys have a request for any of the tracks in the game, let me know and I will get them on the list. I kind of really like the, the intro song too. If you hold your mouse over an option on the left for a few seconds, it starts a preview of the song.
five, five, five. This hugs for five dollars. Hold. So this person put in their email instead of their name. Let's get this started. I think it's Hetty. I'm not entirely certain if it's Hetty, but I think it's Hetty. Hey, Thank you for five dollars. Here's your bag of hugs. What? Why? Did... Time to mix drinks <laughs> and change lives. <laughs> get me a beer. Oh, he walked in. <laughs> One of Jekyll and Hyde, two of Bronston's extract straight oh, from the source. I don't want to know what the source is. <laughs> Look to smash his face in. Uh, whoops. Let's try this again. One of that, two of that. One of that, two of that, and four of those. Okay. Do I need to age it or just mix it? Just mix. Okay. But mix, not blend. Here yeah, you go. Yeah. Have a beer! Give you a big one. Okay. How do I make a beer a big one? It already has like a stupid amount of ingredients. It's only got 10. It's 11 or more to make it big. So you just double up the ingredients on a, on something that's 10 or less. Okay. That is gonna be one alcoholic motherfucking beer. If you can stand after this, I will be shocked and awed. Eight oh wow! Well, it? It's like Samuel L. Jackson walked in and went, "Give me a beer." Not strong enough. Do it again, motherfucker. Yeah, he's that kind of arrogant. You're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This hellhole certainly used presence like mine. Although to be fair, work has taken me to worse hellholes like New Jersey. The third. There's been three New Jerseys. What? <laughs> I don't understand! One is bad enough! I mean, one New Jersey is awful! How do you have three? <laughs> it's a dystopian future. What happened? You would think by the second time somebody would stand up and go, Okay, okay, no more New Jersey! No, no more! <laughs> Oh, I'm talking to the editor-in-chief of the newspaper. Yep. The day started with quite an interesting person, it seems. I don't know, the editor-in-chief of the largest newspaper in the city just walked in and ordered a beer. And then demanded a double. Yep. They love reading about the urban legend Alice underscore rabbit. How deep does the cyberpunk rabbit hole go? Next, you're going to tell me that a cybernetic version of the Mad Hatter is going to walk in. No. I was about to say, you got really quiet on that one. There is a very interesting character, but he's more into riddles than generic Mad Hattery. That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks. You make clickbait? Clickbait! Really? You're... Ah! <laughs> Don't worry, Jill filters most of the rubbish out. <laughs> well, I'm not complaining about the fact you write about the hacker, just that you write about them every single day! Some of these are just speculation or copycats! I can't read your newspaper without running into at least one article about this person. You have your interns write it? Really? And you're fully admitting you have no intention of hiring them. What yep. kind of douche editor-in-chief are you? He's on the legal intern train. <laughs> I filter out the murder and horror section because I don't want to start my day scared and terrified. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> wow! Is the city this bad? Well, it is a cyber. 
Oh my this god, is... this is New Jersey! <laughs> I haven't... People get dissent. Dis People get bored of certain kind of news and see it <laughs> repeatedly. The word you are searching for, Mr. Editor in Chief of a newspaper, whose vocabulary should stretch for miles and make Webster go, You taught me new words, is desensitized. That's the one. <laughs> when I started this job, it, it was only took the news from elderly, some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Now you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy, getting hit by a truck, slammed by a cartoon character, and blown up. Yeah. And then they need all the sob story behind it about the kid and the elderly woman who are now pieces all over the sidewalk. Yep. God, what did I put into that beer to make him this talkative? Oh, this is... This is just running the mill running his mouth off. And I and, it later. <laughs> and <laughs> urban legends like that are easier to write. I can make up all the shit I want. Spam them while they're hot, and even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see them. That brings money, and like I said, money's good. So the newspaper just admits it's motivated by money. You're not news anymore. You're an entertainment piece. You are a tabloid. Yep. <laughs> That's what we call a newspaper in the UK. <laughs> what about the opinion columns? Aren't those good source of tracking? Oh, I hate those brats! They're just... <laughs> they just write about how they're better than everyone else. Great! So you have the hippies of cyberpunkdom New Jersey. <laughs> God, those are some messed up hippies. Good lord. Get them away! Get them away! I did say uh, you'd have some fun reactions to this game. <laughs> they might also write about how everyone that likes a certain thing should be sodomized. Yup. <laughs> you know, I'm not necessarily against sodomy if it's between two consenting adults. Or, you know, the whole consent, non-consent thing that was written out beforehand and signed in writing. Yeah. Okay, let's get off the subject of, of, of butt sex. Just for a little bit here. The worst part about about that is they know half of our clicks come from them, so they get all diva-like. Girl, you better pay me and I better have a sandwich in my room when I get to work or else. <laughs> and it better not be no cheap-ass tuna fish. No, it better be prime cut salmon <laughs> on my bagel. <laughs> Sorry, what were you going to say? I'm trying to remember what... Paper is it, and is it the London Tele Telegraph that is so shitty that I think if you're, you're trying being too hot. Toilet paper, what you need more shit on your ass. No way, I was thinking of another newspaper. Uh, oh, yeah, the columnists on your page are pretty annoying. Any of the tops. The kid on the well, restaurant critique column. I don't shit. I got that brat's <laughs> name. I got that from Mingles with Jingles. Yeah. That kid <laughs> couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, this column is at least visited. Of yeah, the if it's a red bunch, touch, bunch he gets less that. hits than the obituaries. When your opinion column gets less hits than the obituaries, you might want to find a new career. <laughs> this is that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I don't know, I imagine the, the obituaries... I wouldn't have any problem with that um, if he actually wrote about a half the places he visits. How so? Up, he rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. Given the I haven't even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming he's a food critic. Oh my god. Oh my god. The kid who writes the restaurant column is Cartman. Cyberpunk <laughs> Cartman. If Cartman ever becomes cyberpunk, we're doomed. <laughs> I mean, because he would be justified in half the things he says. Oh my god. Did he look like a fat child with a really small face? <laughs> it's Cartman! <laughs> He wants another beer. 
Yep, make it a big one. He wants a man's beer. He wants a man's beer? Yep. <laughs> Can I just add all of the karma train I want? No, because unfortunately, to, actually, it, a large beer fills the mixer, but yeah. Okay, let's try this again. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. And now for the booze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here you go! Here's another double for ya, Samuel L. Jackson of the newspaper! <laughs> no, you can't say that. Samuel L. Jackson's awesome. This guy's an asshole. <laughs> Assholes have a use. Do I see many celebrities in this hellhole? Probably not. Please stop referring to the place of my employment as a hellhole! It's not that bad! We only served two cyber demons last week! We didn't actually even get to serve um, a spider queen yet! Have, have okay? You to, have you listened to his retorts about you complaining about it and calling it a hellhole? If a place smells like soap and a dog piss, I find it with my constitutional rights to call it a hellhole. <laughs> I'M DOING MY BEST! <laughs> Gil, shut up and get back to cleaning! Get back in the bathroom! Back! Back in the bathroom! Don't make me use the beer-covered brush! I'll do it! <laughs> Your hair will be bad for two weeks! Remember last time we had to cut half of it off? <laughs> Who was that? Nobody important. <laughs> hey, I heard that What did I say about your hair? <laughs> I swear to drunk I'm not guard. God, Mr. Internet Security passes out. Well, damn, Hoovian. That escalated quickly. I've often envied the guys that write for the National Enquirer and such. It seemed like they were paid to take drugs and write crap. That sounds about right, Janet Norton. I fully believe everyone at Cracked actually does cocaine. <laughs> um, Von Holtz asks if you can move him into the channel, uh, TeamSpeak. User was Von Holtz, I have one thing to say to you. Super Hub! <laughs> that is all. Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole, if you like. Well, I don't know. What What's better, a hellish hole or a small hole in hell? What sounds better? Well, I guess a hellish hole is where you find the cyber demon, but the small hole in hell, you just find a you just find a, a death knight. So I can, I can live with that. And maybe a couple of succubi and... Yeah. No, we don't get any celebrities. I, I I see you have a serious VFE as a client, and I don't see you losing your shit. You're not making me <laughs> yeah. feel special, honey. And second, because I'm always up to gossip regarding famous people. Especially the red carpet kind of famous. But we don't have them. Uh oh, you're about to get that rent. <laughs> Those folks people pretend to love but actually want to fall see fall from grace. Pretend to love fall from grace. Why do you think that oh, gossip by the way, about famous people always sells? The people pretend they love them. I'm gonna leave it on the one that says I'll buy that for a dollar and he's got a corgi in one arm and a happy black cat in the other. <laughs> Is that real? <laughs> they want to see them suffer to get their comeuppets for daring to be so much more successful than them. Nah, I think gossip is just something everybody enjoys but nobody wants to admit to enjoying. You thought wrong, but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to see escape their lives by living someone else's. Sadly, I fail to see the appeal in the whole thing. A hellish hole is just filled with David Cage games and Adam Sandler movies. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with sandals or if they're dating who God knows who? 
Granted, Socks with Sandals is practically public. Okay, guys, Socks with Sandals is not public indecency. Maybe you just wanted to wear the sandals because they're really comfortable, but it's cold outside. Can you give somebody a break, seriously? Seriously? <laughs> I mean, don't call the fat. I don't call the fashion police on Hetty when he walks outside, and he walks outside every day. Uh, I refuse that. <laughs> you don't walk outside every day? No. Good for you. Actually, you know what? I'll turn it back to the fight because it looks like Trump and Hillary are beating the shit out of each other. That's entertainment. <laughs> Red and blue corner. Yep. <laughs> I bet as a bartender you have a strong warrioristic love. Nope. And the, just like hairdressers, this sounds hypocritical coming from you. Even if that's the case, I don't sensationalize what people do. I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a person. Everyone should be suspicious! <laughs> what do they have to hide? <sighs> Committee judge bitching over. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. But this problem exists because there's the one constantly cultivating the idea that they are perfect and untouchable. Going to exotic locales, dressing in their own ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of. All that just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. <sighs> Can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see their human. Hey, that guy that plays... Hey, I just want to see if this guy's human. That guy that plays the nice guy on TV, yeah, he really is genuinely a nice guy. <laughs> God, Jill, is your life that boring, or are you just completely desensitized and cynical to everything? Am I playing a female version of Stan? I honestly don't know, but uh, Jill's actually pretty cool. You like big words, Ambrat. Well, two can play that game of... Huh. Hey, you're a bartender, right? No, I'm a lab rat helmet. <laughs> hey, you're a bartender, right? No, I'm a lab rat helmet on Conquest. My name is Brain. I'm looking for my sidekick, Pinky. Have you seen him? Pinky and the Brain. <laughs> I can't even remember how that one goes now, but yeah. Sarcasm Pinky wastes my time, my brain. money, and your energy. Oh, Refrain from using it. Anyway, I just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing the topic suddenly because I was winning! Yeah. Got owned by a bartender in a game of words, so he's now changing the subject. <laughs> Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. It would be like the priest who published confessionary stories and then got excommunicated and then lynched for spite purposes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. A, per a personal stranger of sorts. <laughs> we could have you ghostwriting half of our staff do that. They do? Mm. You don't really think Lana Smithy is just one person, do you? Figures. <laughs> I would have thought... Okay, so Lexi started reciting uh, Pinky in the Brain and Whovian Hurls. <laughs> wow, that escalated quickly. <laughs> like he'd remember me two weeks from now. Do you want another drink? You just really like the sound of your own name? Really? Oh, you got to the at work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson or Boss. Boss is just a title. It's too impersonal and cold. Really? Mr. Dawson was my father and grandfather. It's too general. But Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. I like that. Can you do that more? They're referring to me. To the man in front of them. Well, I'm not a man, but this guy. This, this. I don't think Samuel Jackson could play someone this narcissistic. Never mind, he totally could. 
I stand corrected. <laughs> I want my employees to fear me. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, he's an asshole. <laughs> Not because I'm their boss or I sign their paychecks, but rather because I strike them with mortal dread. <laughs> Starting tomorrow, I'm going to make everyone call me that. Actually, let's see. Bitter this... and big, but not alcoholic. Bitter. How wasted do we want to make him? Well, there is one in there. I believe it fits the criteria, which is optional, optional karma tree, if I remember right. Uh. Well, the gut there, punch. If you actually fulfill his. Um, request. There's a there's a funny uh, little scene later on. Um, if you go by flavor, it will also list all the bits. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking through them now to figure it out. Okay, so we're gonna give him a gut punch, and he wants it big. Yep. So that's two shots of formaldehyde. <laughs> And ten Four shots, shots of alcohol. Boston horse cum. Yeah. <laughs> and it has to be aged. No. Horse and piss. mixed. Okay, I thought I did it right. Let's try this again. Two shots of that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it needs to be aged and mixed. So mixed is before it starts shaking really fast. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you left it to blend. Paint me blue and call me Sue. You can actually do it. I thought I was the one with the bad puns! <laughs> <laughs> Janet Norton, formaldehyde for when you really need to get pickled. <laughs> Investors suck harder than my wife's first mouth. Your first wife's mouth, yep. Wow. 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 Can we uh, go in back and discuss your first wife's phone number if you still have it? <laughs> I think they're so important because they put their money into the company. No, they have to stick their noses in and start changing the silliest stiff. What is What good is it to be the boss if you still have to work for someone else? You still have to answer to the unions, the government, and those kind of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's paperwork! I make somebody else do it and call it a day. These losers ask for meetings. Meetings. Handshakes. Smiles. Yeah, fuck them. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they found offensive, and there's always that one guy or guy that says, hey, why don't you do what the other newspaper does? Recently they told me that they needed more clicks. MORE CLICKS! I make sure to keep stuff spicy while still producing quality up, but that's not enough for them! <sighs> and they said, you said your writers are the divas, good god. Clicks, I'll give them more clicks. I'll show them what happens when I do what they want and don't reject their their ideas. They'll know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is. Hey, did you see? Should I be worried? Nah. At least he paid before storming off. I wonder what would uh, happen with this time. Sorry, he never which one's that? Him again. Tom Curry. Yeah. yeah, for you want to make a stiff drink. Yeah. <laughs> 
What the hell happened in that bathroom? That mess usually requires you to have thumbs. It was on the ceiling! It was behind the mirror! The mirror is glued to the wall, Jill! Explain how it got behind the mirror! <laughs> Magic. It was coming out of the tiles still! Like, out from under them, boozing up! What <laughs> happened?! The ceiling, the sinks, the toilet, the vents. I was right! <laughs> I was right! Holy shit, I was right! <laughs> You'll wake up Briar Rose over there. I actually know that story. I know a modern adaptation that's amazing. You should totally go check out a book called Briar Rose. It came out in like 2003. Cool. I won't forget this. I'm going to pay for that later. <laughs> Big gut punch. Movie, fast. He wants a gut punch. I want to give him a punch in the gut. Just read the description of a gut punch. It's supposed to be mean. A punch made of innards. But the name actually describes what you feel while drinking it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten vials of Boston horse piss mixed with horse cum. Wow. Two shots of formaldehyde. And as alcoholic as I can legally make it. <laughs> I can actually do it, yes. This crack house is a bar? Did you just call my bar a crack house? <laughs> Hell hold a crack house. I'm not sure which has been which is a demotion. <laughs> Unfortunately it's a plumber's crack house. I'm surprised you decided to come to our crack house at all, mister, considering it smells like dog piss and soap. The payment registry says, sorry for the questions, Mr. Ingram McDonald. Sorry about the smell. We're working on fixing it. There was an INCIDENT over the weekend involving drunk corgis in business suits. By the way, all of their suits were so badly ruined by their own incident that they had to just throw them out. There was no fixing it. <laughs> I agree, Magic Scythe. Dogs of Nurgle. <laughs> but it's Tuesday. Yep. This incident that happened over the weekend and it's Tuesday and you're still fixing it. <laughs> if did you just ask me to be a whore? <laughs> no! Flat out! Oh, you're gonna love this guy. <laughs> then I have no use for you other than giving me drinks. Wow, is he nice! <laughs> Fuck your couch! Somebody recommended this place? Somebody recommended this place?! Really?! Yes. Oh, yes. Apparently he won't answer me with who. No. Oh, he liked my random selection of music with no bearing whatsoever on what actually went in. Yep. Can we kill a patron with just a pure alcoholic drink? I'm tempted. Um. Gil, where sure. did I put the dish soap? Jill's uh, below the sink where it's always been. Right. Oh, a customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So, <laughs> any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so I can enhance your experience? No, nothing. That's an I interesting I, I, change I, I, of heart. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she... Who is she? Holy shit! You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Oh. WHAT IS MY BOSS DOING?! AM I SECRETLY WORKING FOR THE DAWN OF THE MAFIA?! No, that's not her style. 
she's more of an independent. The mall who fended off the person who fended off a mall of rioters all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. That's an achievement in a title I'm unfamiliar with. You know, if she knocked out an entire mall of rioters, I don't think any story about how she got a mechanical arm is too fantastical to be true. <laughs> oh, it gets better. That's one of the more tame stories you get. Is it my eyesight? Or well, does it look like he had his head cut off? He has had he, his he has had his head transplanted onto a cybernetic body. He's either had his head transplanted or he's got a tattoo. I've not worked out which yet. I'm pretty sure his head's been transplanted. That's too symmetrical to be a tattoo. Um, hmm. Interesting. You can relax though. I've only it's seen her deal with clients body, personally then. about two or three That's times. Explained. One involves class five the weaponry. The, the other, of that is a pickup artist, and the latest had. An... Why have you taken alpaca into the bar? The oh. class five weapon and the pickup car artist, I can totally understand, but the alpaca, really? <laughs> oh, just get, just keep reading that line. <laughs> She got really drunk and started screaming she was an alpaca. She started spitting on every- <laughs> What do I put into these drinks? Is it literally horse cum and piss? Really? And formaldehyde? <laughs> this bar attracts some interesting clients, shall we say? <laughs> he, asked, he asked nicely for a pile driver. He asked nicely. For a pile driver? Really? <laughs> really? <sighs> He's asking for a pile driver. I honestly feel like suplexing him. <laughs> and suplex is another drink in the list, but you can't give it in. Can I give him a double? Yeah. Choke slam? No, no choke slam. There we go. Here, have a pile driver that will knock you off. Have I ever faked an orgasm? Well, there was this, uh... Actually, no, I haven't, quite frankly. Has anybody ever faked an orgasm? Go ahead, raise your hand in chat. Explain why you had to do it to the person. I want to hear it. It's midnight stream. We can go a little higher than PG-13. Uh, can't say as I ever have. I'm gonna take that as a yes. I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere people lie every once in a while. Lies can buy you time. Lies can buy you happy. You know what? No! No, no, no. Here's the deal. If I don't lie to anybody, I don't have to remember what I told anyone. So you know what? If I just tell just the blunt, honest easy. truth... Just it works. Reading. It does actually kind of go into that. Just keep reading. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually, but for that moment, the lie can give you meaning. I say lies are like your porn stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. <laughs> good, good response. Good response. Does that mean you're re you really faked orgasms because you look like you have a lot of experience? How do you know that Jill has a lot of sex experience? Really? She could be a virgin! No, he's not real lying about something right now. He's just thinking about making polite comments about the crack house. That's a pol- <laughs> That's how you get to polite comment? You ask the bartender if she's faked her orgasm? <laughs> Can I make you a drink so strong that by the time you finish it, you're on your ass and we have to call the cops to take you in for being drunk in public? <laughs> a fringe weaver. Oh, give him a double of that one. 
Holy shit, Batman! <laughs> it's like drinking ethanolic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. Well, that's literally what it is. It, carmatine is the alcohol, and al al ad adalhyde is the sugar. Or the sweet. I'm giving him a double of this. <laughs> Here you go. Have a double ethanolic alcohol. Let's see how drunk we can get him. <laughs> have I ever felt empty? Yes, I think we all have felt empty at a certain point in our lives. Especially after you got rid of a lot of beer. <laughs> huh. Have you tried taking up a hobby? I might not solve your problems, but it'll keep you busy long enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, COMBAT SPORTS! <laughs> Exercising, blowing stuff up, go become a YouTuber! Or whatever they call it nowadays in cyberpunk New Jersey um, hell. You, you actually do meet a um, this this world's version of a YouTuber in a bit. Well, mm. how meta are we going? More like you meet this version, this game's version of a streamer, because some of the content isn't fit for YouTube. Apparently, 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 his hobbies are bitches and alcohol. Yep. I tried sex tourism once. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STD, so I left him <laughs> the way through. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the far-flung future. Did you get hyper super gonorrhea mega mega syphilis AIDS? Is that why you had to have your head put onto a new body? <laughs> I would believe it. Like I'm totally. I'm sorry about your hyper super mega gun of syphilis AIDS. Uh, yeah, this guy's an asshole, but he's he's great in some of his responses. <laughs> Combat sports, ah, oh, laser tag. Extreme laser tag with five kilowatt lasers. Why are we even using five kilowatt or megawatt lasers? No, let's up this ante. We're gonna use five terawatt lasers. Are you killing a person or a planet? <laughs> We're trying to blow up a city block in an instant. <laughs> Russian roulette with STDs and a revolver. Shoot them into the person, they might not die, but by God, you've got herpes now. <laughs> I once burned my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy. Porn is more amusing and way cheaper. <laughs> yeah, this guy is something special. <laughs> you've also hired a girl to act like your daughter for a day three years in a row. Yes. You are like... You've gotten to the point in Sex Kinks where it's like, dude, dude, next, the, the next thing on your list is like a snuff film. I think you need to tone it back just a little bit. How do you know that's why he's not got a new body? Oh, dear God. He died in a <laughs> snuff film during orgasm. You can't fuck puppies. At least you shouldn't. How would you know? How do you know that that... Oh dear God! I know what's wrong with those corgis. This guy got a hold of them while they were puppies. That explains the bathroom. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! This is a reminder, everyone. The stream supported on you, and that joke is totally on you guys. So make sure you drop a tip and hit the like button. And if you're having a good time, keep talking in chat. I'll read it. I'll read it out loud occasionally, though I am reading it all as it scrolls past. Well, not pit, not pitbull puppies anyway. What? What? <laughs> you, you, you have, you have totally fucked those corkies. Oh god, I should kill you now. <laughs> I should kill you where you stand.
<laughs> if y'all excuse me for a moment, the game devs and their team have decided to harass the shit out of me on Twitter, so I have to go respond. Okay. Wow, they have retweeted the fuck out of me. That's cool. amazing. Um, I'm drawing a blank. Can't think of anything that might help. Wasn't expecting you to help me or to believe me. <laughs> yeah, this guy is an asshole. <laughs> I could have been lying through my heat thesis whole time. People lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. The smell, the smell is killing me. Please, do come again. Or don't! Puppy fucker! <laughs> Good, don't come back. I'm gonna take my break. Oh wow, Jill actually is cute and has my body proportion. That's kind of scary. <laughs> I say Jill's pretty awesome. It's now safe to keep playing. <laughs> Why do I see a cat girl sister of battle in the background? Keep going. Couple of, it's a couple of days into the game, that one, I think. At least I didn't get locked up this time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to take all the music we put in out. And put in... A brand new set. And if you guys know any of these songs or want me to play any of them in particular, let me know. I'm actually going to play my own song a couple times. React to what, Hoovian? Sure, go ahead. But it, it, It's gotten as R-rated as we need to get it anyway. A robot walked in! Feeling it, Astartes! No! No! <laughs> Oh, it's not a robot. It's just a girl in a helmet. Holy shit, a sister of battle really did just walk in. <laughs> no, um, perhaps um, all the sororities were not a sister of battle. Master Specialist Sai Sai P Asaguri of the 765th Division Valkyrie Corps. Sister of battle just walked in. Yes, Jeff, I agree. Everyone should know you don't screw the pooch. <laughs> that depends. Are you pitching or catching? Sorry? Never mind. I didn't hear what you said, so I don't know. Screw the pooch. Are you oh. pitching or catching? Well, I need something sweet, small, sweet, and icy. Piano woman. Nope. No, that's large. A blue fairy. Nope. Not icy. Um, let's try a moon blast. On the rocks and blended. And holy shit is it sweet! There's enough sugar in there to give someone cancer! <laughs> well, a heart attack. Diabetes? I'm Gregory Muffin, and I have diabetes. Here, have a moon glass. You're welcome. Apparently, she's a white knight. Yep, she's. Hoovian, I want to nice. hear this joke. You haven't told it yet. I want to hear it. Like, I really do. I see, sister of battle, this is a whole new kind of heresy. 
How do you tell a rich Ethiopian, the one that wears a gold Rolex around his waist? <laughs> wow. 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 You know what? I'm going to open it up. If you want to tell an inappropriate joke in chat right now, let's do it. Racism, horrific incidents, morbidity, all of it's allowed. Let it loose. You said you're from the Valkyrie Corps. Are you guys who deal with riots and such? Riots? Oh, no, no, no. You're thinking about the Blitzkrieg Corps, the one with huge plated suits, right? Yeah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously we're different people, but we don't deal with riots or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. Oh. That's what I say. She, she She's a sister hospitalier! That's the one. To rescue, heal, and protect, we are the angels who soothe the su those suffering enemy attack. We are the light and the hope of the dark. She's literally reciting the goddamn mantra, isn't isn't she? Yes. What's the difference between a Jew and a pizza? The pizza doesn't scream when you put it into the oven. What's the difference between a German rape dungeon and a Ferrari? I don't have a Ferrari in my garage. <laughs> Holy <Wow>. shit. <laughs> that dog. Those are some good oh, ones. Where's Monolo when you have, when you have oh, that Oh, yeah. One? Do you remember Mount, when Mountain Dew put up a poll for people to name its new flavor and you had two choices and the number two choice was diabetes? <laughs> What's worse than a Holocaust? Six million Jews. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> When I tell you got to let loose the dark side, you have a dark side. Oh, these are not my jokes. I'm reading the chat. If you don't believe, you know what? You know, I might have to actually say, just ease off a little on stuff like that. That got dark quick. This means that our duties mostly involve rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from stuff. What kind of stuff? Bugglers rape. Burglars rape. Bugglers. I'm here to protect you from the bugglers. The bugglers and the bugglos. They're gonna boogie you. <laughs> so I gotta protect you from the pygmy natives of Australia. <laughs> burglars, rapists, car crashes. Anything that might happen on our watch. What's the difference between an onion and a baby? I cry when I cut an onion. Dear God. A black guy crossed the road. He was thinking, they see me, they don't see me, they see me, they, they don't see me. And then he got hit by a car. He was thinking they don't see him. I don't get that one. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah, I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at the doctor. <laughs> the not burglars. Joke from a can uh, Canadian sergeant. How many Newfoundland does it take to eat a porcupine? I don't know, Janet. Enlighten why, us. Why, why are they even eating a porcupine? How <laughs> does an o Ethiopian fall off the fifth floor like a feather? How long does it take to paint a wall? Depends on how hard you, you throw the paint. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. It's Okay, are we, are we gonna have to reinstate rules now? Okay, enough of the horrible jokes! These are hilarious, but they're so wrong! Oh, God. What are you going on getting in the tank? The special forces! Sorry, that one nearly triggered me. Wow, okay, 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 okay. Down, down, chat. Yeah, just get it down, bring it in a little bit, bring it down a little bit. Why is TV off? There's a limit, there's a limit. Remember, this insanity is supported on you guys. Please make sure to drop a tip if you can, really. We, and, and if we make the stream tip goal tonight and one on Friday or Saturday, then I have to play Undertale. It's already Friday for me. <laughs> it's Friday for me too, officially. But if we make this stream tip, we have to. If we make two of the three that are left, I have to play Undertale. Cool. I also kind of like a firefighter in that sometimes I rescue people from places. Damn, that must be a tough job. Sort of, but it's also really rewarding. 
I mean, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when they arrive. I can't imagine why. You just pulled them <laughs> from a burning car, treated their wounds temporarily, and gave them a lollipop. I would be really happy to see you too! Yeah, basically. <laughs> I just realized the pink boxes kind of got a pink arm sleeve on. Yeah. Wait, you're rescuing people from a collapsing building and you look down and go, Wow, the city is so pretty! Yep. That's sane in a nutshell. <laughs> oh, and there's this time we were cleaning up the aftermath of the car crash, water pouring out of the hydrant, which the lights and scattered pieces of glass, it was all like a dream. That's not what I meant by shocking sights. No, no, but those are sights and they're shocking, right? Yeah, but never mind. <laughs> Wait, did I miss here? You actually mean meant size? Uh, I mean, sure, <laughs> I've suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrated size from people after everything's said and done, but don't worry, you... D she <laughs> takes everything literally! <laughs> She's like that guy from, uh, from, from Guardians of the Galaxy. Of the Galaxy. What was his name? He just literally takes everything literally. Drax the Destroyer. You were told you could cross the line for a little bit, and God, did you cross it. I think the term was rocketed over. Um, kind of flew over it so far, I don't think you even saw it as you passed. D -d -d don't worry, don't worry. Finish your drink, can I get you anything else? Yeah, something classy, a classy drink. Can you be more specific? Don't make it too big, does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem, don't worry, a classy drink. Let's see what I can find for you. A classy drink. Classy. And it can't get her too drunk. Bad touch? Wow, no, that would like incapacitate a small <laughs> woolly mammoth. A Brantini. Yes, Lexi, like, that's a good one. Yeah, the line got crossed with a scramjet. I offered to let them cross the line, and they went, strap some jets on it, and go. <laughs> and now I'm like, okay, activate the parachute, bring it back a little bit. <laughs> Here, have a very classy light alcohol, super sweet thing. That sounds like her kind of thing. This looks like something Stella would drink. She's my dearest friend. Not that I have any other friends, but she's the one I've known the longest. Your friend is in Bambi? Yes, apparently. Not quite. Dear God, Rogaldorn burst into the room. Everyone cried. You know... My name, now I want to know yours. Oh, sure, just call me Jill. Jill, hmm, Jill, hmm, Jill, hmm, Jill, hmm, Jill, hmm, Jill, hmm, Jill, hmm. Reset button acquired. Okay, we can move on. <laughs> Jill, this is short for Jillian. No, that's not right. Jillian. Giuliani! I am not Mayor Giuliani. <laughs> It's a stupid reason. No, I imagine it's a very good reason why you wouldn't want to be called you, by your full name. Yes, you. It's like you. Not necessarily in that. So from Tom, supplies, supplies, supplies. Hope you enjoy your trip to Taco Smell with this tip. Thank you, Tom. Wow. Thank you for the $10, and I may very well take a trip to Taco Hell. I mean, Taco Bell. <laughs> Jill looks like a nice girl, really, really. If you saw me sitting behind a bar, what would all of you think? I want to know, am I a nice girl? Like, seriously, yeah. like, let me know. Yeah, and then you'd open your mouth and then they go, nope, you're an evil person.
You like the smell of dog urine and soap in the bar? She does have a valid reason, but yeah. Oh, your mom... NOSTALGIA! Has <laughs> apparently won her over and she'll be coming back. I thought I only had to make $800 before the end of the month. Yeah, but it does suggest you spend some of that. Oh. On what? It'll explain it, don't worry. I was never a good student, so medicine was coming with that aside. It's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me when the other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next. I just woke up in the hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that, but ever since then I felt this was my calling to be a sister of battle hospitality or in post-cyberpunk death, New Jersey. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Try saying that ten times fast. I dare you. I bet you need a drink of water. Why not? Why join the Valkyrie Corps specifically? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations. And going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also one, one with the least paperwork. <laughs> White Knight Bureaucrats! The most Jewish police officers ever! Ooh. Hey, I had to make a bad one. I had to do it. You know I had to do it. <laughs> After what we went through with This is the Police. <laughs> a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. I bet that's a... That's a 48-hour job. And don't ask me how you do 48 hours in 24. I don't know, but these guys probably manage it. This is Glitch City. They probably found a way. A martini, a brantini. How about sure. a mankini? A mankini. Can I just serve her a brantini? Yes. Why am I serving her another sugar addicted hell? Because she likes small sweet drinks. <sighs> okay. Because she's so sweet. She is sweet. Uh, I fucked it up. Turn Norton, how'd you do 48 hours in only 24? Easy, double time. Here you go, see, you just had this. I just gave you one of these, I'm not gonna pretend like I didn't, but here, have another one. We're gonna get regular customers? Yeah. She's into classier places. It's quite obvious that Jill knows the type of place she works in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that sounded bad. Something just exploded! <laughs> hey, Corgi in the back. She left her helmet. Well, if she's coming back, I'll just hold on to the helmet for her. I'll go check what the ever loving hell that explosion was. I don't know that hell is ever loving. I mean, is it? Is hell ever lo Does hell always love you, or does hell just always hate you? Hell I don't know why we say ever loving hell. Why don't we say ever hating hell? Because hell loves all. There is 
heaven rejects those it doesn't like. Does that mean he heaven is the ever-hating place? Yeah. Oh! They're, they're hating on those who don't uh, live up to their ideals. Oh my god, the unconscious girl woke up. Yep. Good evening and welcome to Valhalla! That was probably not the best thing to say now that I think about it. <laughs> Welcome to Nordic Heaven! How are you doing? You're dead now, by the way. <laughs> Valhalla? Am I dead? <laughs> Does that mean that Uncle Ingus ramblings about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar are true? 110% true? <laughs> Allow me to alliterate the, the happenings of why the afterlife looks like a shitty downtown bar that smells of corgi piss and soap. <laughs> As far as I can tell, you're not actually dead. I'm just fucking with you, lady. <laughs> Are we organ traffickers, robbers, rapists, pickpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? Yes, we dragged your body here to pick your pockets. <laughs> Because she won't shut up is why I'm not saying anything yet! <laughs> yeah. You're rapists, aren't you? Rapists, the whole lot of you! Yes, the girl sitting behind the bar with boobs is going to rape you now in public. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. Here comes my lady boner. <laughs> Wow! I just escalated from rapist to murder rapist! <laughs> Instantly! Not only to escalate from rapist to murder rapist, but you're saying you have to be unconscious while I rape you, which indicates I don't want to hear you scream and rant about it, which I would have thought would have been half the fun for a rapist. Otherwise, we would have done it to you while you were unconscious already. Wow, lady, you have some really weird fantasies that you may want to talk to a doctor about. Oh, she got to the bit where she's uh, getting rather descriptive in the things she imagines you're doing to her. Or going to do to her. Let's see if a drink can calm, calm her down or to throw in her face. <laughs> Give her something that will calm her down. Calm her down. Calm her down. Uh, some date rape joke? <sighs> yeah, that escalated very quickly. <laughs> we went from rapist to murder rapist oh, to uh... super fantasy murder rapist violating every single hole. I'm just one person, by the way. So apparently one of my arms is totally <laughs> a sex prop with multiple dildos on it. To... Murder rapist violating every single hole while she's unconscious with the intent of killing her while she's unconscious and continuing to rape her body after she's dead. <laughs> In the meantime, let's see here. Something to call a fluffy dream. Ah. Uh... Chloroform calms everyone wow. down. Yes, it does. Okay, um... <coughs> Eddie, do you have a recommendation? Uh, sweet. Off no, sweet. calm. Calm. A lot of people in this game, for some reason, drink the sweet drinks to calm down. Don't ask me why. Okay. They, Let's... they drink the bitter ones to wake themselves up and the sweet ones to calm down. I don't know, I didn't get it either. Um... I guess a moon blast? Yeah, it doesn't sound too bad. It's happy, girly, and sweet. Yeah, that sounds like a good one. Um... Yeah, 
Yeah, let's try the moon blast. Let's put. As a suggestion, don't get her drunk. Actually, no. Let's not do the moon blast. It's got like so much sugar. But you know what? Let's let, let, let's do it. And don't get her drunk. Yeah. Let's blend it all up, make it nice and on the rocks, just like it's supposed to be. There we go. A drink. You're in a bar. Bars serve drinks. <laughs> so I figured I should give you something to help calm you down. Don't worry, it's on the house. Did I put roofies, T T X, or pumpkins in it? <laughs> What were you saying earlier about uh, my <laughs> my my stuttering makes me makes me suspicious. You've just accused me of being a murder rapist necrophiliac. <laughs> if I ever added something like that to your drink, they dock my pay and tips. Not to mention I have to pay any lawsuits myself, and that's the best case scenario. I should lose my job and benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. If you go three blocks down, there's a drugstore who does who does drug tests on drinks. Tell the cashier that Donna Zane sent you. Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. <laughs> How many dead people are there? And are there bodies raining from the sky? Or is it more like a Van Helsing-esque thing and it's just fountains of blood going everywhere? Hey, Ken, what's up? Did you check inside the toilet paper locker? What about- OH GOD! <laughs> the business wearing corgis who were raped by that one weird guy when they were puppies went in there, didn't they? Just... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hear back from the closet. I DIDN'T KNOW IT COULD BE THAT COLOR! <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, I didn't know it could be that color. User disconnected from your channel. But I could be with the colutes in the store. He even knew your name. Good point, but first of all, it's not my name, it's my boss's. Second, we are pretty much part of the chain, sort of like spicy chicken of the spicy chicken of bars. <laughs> and finally, I'm not making you drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry. How is it suspicious? But remember, we're in just calm this woman the fuck down mode. <laughs> Wow! Are you like the Super SDJW of Cyberpunkdom? <laughs> wow! Yeah, she way overthinks everything. Not sure you should drink it that fast. So how was that? It was good, I guess. It helped me calm down a bit, I think. Yay! We picked the right drink! <laughs> you guess I was telling the truth? Oh, no, 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 honey. The roofies take about three minutes to kick in. Trust me. <laughs> Oh, 
My boss found you unconscious. We brought you in and stuffed you behind the bar for safekeeping. If you weren't going to wake up, we were totally going to rape and kill you and sell your organs to organ traffickers. <laughs> I guess it's better to wake up here, stripped of clothes, dignity, and organs. Well, your clothes are still on and your organs are still inside. I can't quite say. Holy uh, shit, Robert! What's up? I got raided! Yes! Hey, guys. I can't quite say you have your dignity anymore, lady. What the hell is going off in... Robert yeah. is my friend. It's okay, Eddie. It's okay. He, 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 he came by and he's raiding, he's raiding my stream. It's okay. You sure? Yeah, it's okay. I was with him and, sure? the, and the people. Yeah, it's, I'm sure. Let it go. I was with him. I was actually helping him raid channels last night. You are. How did you fall unconscious? Person. Were you tired? I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Cool. Can I make you more booze? Okay, why don't we time someone out? Uh, because I don't think Makara's got the message yet. No! They are fine! Stop! I suppose the problem is it there's a delay with the processing on the stream, isn't there? Damn it, Makara! Bad mod! Bad! Bad! Bad, 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 bad! <laughs> do not do no bad. All right, let me see if I can undo this, or if it's just I have to wait it out now. Um, At least it's only a timeout, so worst comes to in five. If it was a ban, I could undo it. Apparently, I cannot undo timeouts yet. They said they fixed that. <laughs> God damn it, YouTube! <laughs> Fix your shit. Let me overrule my own moderators. Anyway, back to the game. I'm, I apologize. I did not realize that Makara was going to be a bit overzealous. Well, to be fair, we were told that mods need to be a bit more zealous in chat. True. We were told, I did tell you guys on Sunday to be a bit more zealous about stuff and try to keep stuff. But I, I, I said that was fine. And, well, shit. Good night, Lexi. Have a good night. Okay, I'll take you up in your offer. I'll have a piano man. Piano man. Let's see here. A piano man. And you want to... Holy shit, Batman is made with everything. Yep. All right, well, here is raw, unadulterated sugar from hell. Three shots of horse piss with a little bit of horse cum mixed in. Five shots of powdered Delta Force. Yes, we really <laughs> did take the veterans and turn them into powder for drinks. And five shots of formaldehyde. And while we're at it, here's three pints of booze <laughs> on the rocks, and we'll mix it. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it! Wow, it even comes out in the fancy motherfucking glass. Your dad used to drink these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. <laughs> I'm changing the channel now on the TV. Um, something happy. There we go. Emo girl. That'll work. <laughs> what did he do to provoke the pianist? Oh, wrong place, wrong time. He was relaxing bar when suddenly the pianist left off stage and started punching him. Why does a pianist leap off stage and punch you? Some say he was off his meds. Well, I would. <laughs> and my dad looked like a music critic who had bashed him. I still hold my stance. He got too excited, Jet. Jazz does not get you too excited! <laughs> what kind of jazz do they have in cyberpunk dystopian New Jersey hell? What jazz does that to someone?
It was originally created by a bartender known as being a friend that he had just died. Apparently it mixes all the flavors of said friend like the most. Oh, that's nice. So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long, hard day of work. Yep! I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work? Oh, her name is Kim! I, we, we got a name! We got a name out of this super SJW warrior who accused us of being murder, rapist, necrophilia, <laughs> organ traffickers. <laughs> that list is getting longer, even though she hasn't continued to accuse us of stuff. I don't know how, how much more stuff I could add on to it. Con, Jazz. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh god, she's an intern at the Augmented Eye! Yep. She's one of the slaves. So you believe me? I, I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse blower. <laughs> Harsh words. The worst part is the... The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about things he wants people to have done. <sighs> he even got a pizza delivery boy to work. Really? Yes. <laughs> Really? A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where he was. <laughs> you kidnapped someone! Kidnapped him and threw him in the server room. I did, Robert. On, Thank on, you. On, Thank you very the, much. On the future, ver the server room of the future of, um, equivalent of BuzzFeed. The guy became decent at server maintenance, despite having no. It's kind of admirable, but the say. You kidnapped him and forced him to work on the server room for a week before the pizza shop went. Where's our delivery guy? It took the little thing is it took the pizza shop a week to notice the guy didn't come back. It's as hard as being a cook. No, it's that bartenders really do go through a lot of shit. The chemical hazards people leave behind. <laughs> At one point, I thought of being a bartender, but I'm afraid they'd just can't be close or something. Well, it depends on where you start working. I guess I was lucky about how I didn't end up being a tacky disco overseeing with a DJ with an afro. <laughs> now I just had this image of Samuel L. Jackson as Afro Samurai <laughs> sitting behind a set of records going... <laughs> Scratching away as the uh, as a disco ball sits overhead with the funkiest tunes this side of Funky Town. Yeah, multicolored lights reflecting off the disco ball, and yeah. <laughs> and you can't unsee that image, guys. You never can. F faint, a faint mist of smoke hovering near the disco ball, so you see the streams of light coming off of it. Intense the last couple days, but even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. She has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but hey, sorry, I got carried away. It was fun to see you break the wise bartender character. Yes, the wise bartender character, because I am Gandalf. <laughs> yeah. The Grey Bartender. Gandalfia the Grey Bartender, everyone. I am scritching through my magical invisible beard that's over my <laughs> boobs. Because that's how I imagine Gandalf as a woman oh, wizard. Yeah. Wow! I just put Gan I just had this image of Gandalf with boobs under the white robe. You just 
Gen gender bent Gandalf, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> gender bent Gandalf. Yeah, well, I'm gonna call my boss and see if she's glad to meet you. And besides, it's it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. One brand teeny, please. Sure. Um. Oh, she said bandit teeny. Yeah. No, no, it's it's brand teeny, dear. Here is all of the sugar from hell. Like <laughs> all of the sugary goodness. Super and uh, some more powdered <laughs> Delta Force and just a little bit of boost. Yeah. Here you go. You shall not pass out, get off the bartender. <laughs> yes, I am the rapey murder necrophilia <laughs> domestic abuser organ trafficking bartender according to her. Oh, God. Why would you subject yourself to Pinkie Boyle? <laughs> oh, God. Gandalfia the bartender. Gender bent Gandalf the bartender. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> the only dream I can remember is being passionate about buying a model warrior Julianne arcade machine. Can't say I've given up on that one yet, but alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. You've never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish ones. Childish dreams? Yes! Yes, I dreamed I would wake up one morning and just be a motherfucking dragon. Nice one, Robert. Awesome! Thanks for the raid! Come back and raid me more! I like it when you raid me! You can raid <laughs> my stream's booty all you like! And thanks for the $5 tip. I'll actually go add it to the stream tip so it counts for you guys. Yeah, just Robert, if you're going to raid us again, just please be the first one to type in so we know that you guys are safe. And hey, Robert, hold on a second. You'll get a, uh, you'll get a notification. I'll agree with you for Dara Breen. Dara Breen's pretty, good, uh. pretty awesome. If you get a notification, you'll go on my tip board. Obsessed. So here it goes. Sort of oh, sex um, and weirdness for my liking. As a comedian. Hi, hi, hi. This bag of hugs for five dollars. It's cold. Here you go, Robert. You earned a bag of hugs. And actually, Robert, I have some very important news for you on that one if you're still here. That makes officially this year $12,000 dollars on stream tip awesome which so, means yeah. i have now made minimum wage on stream tip childish dreams yeah yeah I remembered I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to be having a blast with me. Angel Gris, it's uh, it, it's his raid hashtag when he goes around raiding people. I need to start. You, I, I might want to do that to somebody. We'll see. You you got raided or something? Yep. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but I couldn't find it in me to study that. So I picked something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way, I became a bartender. That's explained. Yep. You're a geeky tipster. Yep, that's exactly who he is. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. What color was it, Gil? What did the corgis do to the closet? <laughs> He's going to have nightmares about corgis and toilet paper. Okay, toilet paper out a window is not that bad. Yeah, but it's quite a high up window, if I remember right. He needs to go shower. <laughs> yeah. Can you blame him? <laughs> a ghost. No, but he's a ghost now. He's just a ghost. I heard that. Ooh. <laughs> See, he's just a ghost. Oh, 
think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idealize the idea of dreaming too much. Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in their life. So, some take a liking to a job. Others find it that they failed after many attempts. Some life takes an unexpected turn and changes your plan. It changed my plan. I'm on YouTube for your entertainment. And we're two subscribers away now from 5K. I mean is don't worry too much about it maybe you're right well I'm gonna take my leave now thank you for everything you're welcome hope she comes back are we done for the night seems like it where's Gil and where's the girl that was here Gil cleaned the bathroom so and left because he stank playing this name. Kim woke up had a couple drinks and left so she's called Kim how did she look to you how was she she was freaked the fuck out! We were accused of being, um, um, domestic abusing rapist, snuff film producers, murderers, organ harvester, necrophiliacs. Yeah, it took you forever, Robert. It took you for freaking ever. But hey, you, 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 I, I owe you now, so so let me know if you need something, seriously. Yeah, I just call you that out of habit. I don't know if the feeling is can join the IG and, and are, we use laser pointers to direct their charges. I can just imagine it now, the Imperial Guard with, with felinoids and full Imperial Guard uniforms and gigantic, uh, what are they called, um, um, Earthquake? <laughs> you know, the huge, the, 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 the standard really big artillery gun, I forget the name. Um, yeah, I know what you mean. Earthshaker cannons? Earthshaker uh, cannons, except for the Earthshaker cannon has been replaced with a giant guiding laser. That causes no, all of the felinoids to go exactly where it's pointed in a mindless berserk charge. No, what I imagine is a commissar stood on top of the bane blade with a laser pointer, just waving the laser pointer around, around and all the cats, cat felinids chasing it around. <laughs> okay, so my total earnings are 3,210. The drinks were 2400 I get 30% commission. I get 750 in tips. I had free service. Yep. And I get some extra for helping calm the girl down. I get $2,400. That's a, that's a fucking amazing bartending pay for one goddamn day. Yeah, but when you consider it, it's 80 quid for the cheap, cheapest drink on the menu. Apparently I can browse things now. Weren't you gonna have curry yesterday? A ghost took my money. What did it say she wants to buy? Uh, it didn't say I want to buy anything yet. It does. Go, go in, go, go to the shops and go back into your, go back home. Oh, she wants to buy a hollow plant. Jill is lost in thought about a hollow plant. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. Hollow plant? Yeah, so go to shop. Okay. And then browse for the hollow plant. Okay. Otherwise, what happens is, you know when it says at the bottom about what the, when you're in the bit where you select the drinks? Yeah. Um, at the bottom, it tells you what the person wants. If, you, if she's distracted, Instead of telling you what the person wants, it'll just put up some random bullshit about, say, a hollow plant. So where do I... Jill just bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. That she will surely focus at work. Oh. Yeah. So you have to make purchases. Yes. Local woman, local hero, 70%. Oh, wow. I can actually read these. Hold on. We can read these. Oh, yeah. I think Alice under might be a dog. 
<laughs> Holy shit. The corgis were the hacker. Collectively, they get put into a room with a fuckload of computers in their business suits, and they hack the fuck out of the world by running around <laughs> being cute as hell. Uh, Danger, Danger Are You is a... Is that what you're reading? No, I'm looking no, at No, oh, you're augmented eye. Uh, in the last thread, A9 wants to confess her feelings. Wow, these are actual news stories. Let's talk about yeah. Alice underscore Rabbit. Yeah, so uh, Danger I, Danger U is a I have to actually kind of scroll. a Reddit type place. These are huge. Which most of it is just utter bullshit, but quite funny to read at times. I'll have to actually like read those, like take some time to read those if everybody's interested in me actually reading them. Okay, um, I guess we go to work. Also, if you pay attention to the augmented eye ones, it tells you at the top who the writer is or supposed to be. Ah. Uh, and there's some fun references in there. Hey, Jill. You can click and drag to scroll the articles as well. That's a sound you don't hear every day. Boss, what are you doing with that helmet? I was just about to ask where it came from. A white knight came in yesterday. She left, and I think she forgot to take it with her. I figured she'd eventually come looking for it. So I left it under the count. Wait, and for each of the articles do you regularly put on things without asking who they belong to first? I don't plan and evaluate every move, Bill. I'll just act. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes looking for it. You sound happy. Well, this helmet is comfortable and cool and comfortable and cool and, and really, really cool. It's strange that you're late, Gil. Yeah, traffic was- ah! Don't run! You have work to do! I'm not going back to Hong Kong! You know, it's a hell of a move, Gil, to come from Cyberpunk Hong Kong, which I imagine is much better than this place, to Cyberpunk Disposed Dystopian New Jersey the Third. Yeah, but did you read what he said though? What? He said I you can't take me back to Hong Kong. And if you notice he ran away at the thought. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'm gonna detonate the I'm going to detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere. <laughs> Is that innuendo? <laughs> I got those. Probably. She seems happy. She's been tense the past couple of days. It somehow relaxed. It's now good. Are you all set? Yep. Alright. Alright, we get to make the jukebox. Well, you can just leave it to play as it is. It's fine. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna annoy the piss out of everyone. It's the same Could song you... 12 times. Go on then. Just keep an eye out to the bottom right or left of your screen. <laughs> I got an achievement for that! <laughs> I got an achievement for that! I, the achievement's name is I like it, okay? <laughs> uh, this this game has no respect for the fourth wall at all, man. It's hey, Brat, you're in luck. I decided to bless this place again. Luck, he says. <laughs> yes, Samuel L. Jackson, the newspaper editor, has blessed us. He wants beer. He wants a double. I wish I could make it a triple and put actual horse piss in it instead of this artificial <laughs> horse piss. Uh, Here you go. For a minute. Good to hear what brings you in today. Today we were supposed to hand the interns an article topic. All of those crazy bitches came flocking to me like the first high schooler with a car! I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. Oh my god. You couldn't deal with women rushing to you in the middle of your office? I get you're a married man. But surely, with a personality like yours, you know how to close the blinds. I'm gonna shut up now before I get in so much trouble. <laughs> uh. 
There's this gal that's performing an art a concert later tonight. Yesterday I was tuning the details of the interview I'd have with her today. And like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with the, la the pa pack of cooperative bitches. How was the interview? Easy enough. The fact that the girl had a nice pair of knockers helped. Oh my god. Really? Really? By the way, we saw Jill and like the break her actual shape and I'm like, holy shit, it really is me tending a bar. Cyberpunk me, as a matter of fact. I even have the hair to match Cyberpunk me. She was a lil... She was a lil... Lamenthin? Yes, one of those new fancy king class... Oh my god, so oh, she's... Buck. She's a total cyborg. They're anatomically correct in every way. Did you explore to find out if the doctors are right about her being anatomically correct in every way? Apparently not. <laughs> what the hell is a John face? <laughs> I've never been to Hong Kong, and I certainly didn't defect from any anti-riot force after stealing supplies. <laughs> that escalated quickly, and the newspaper guy goes, That's a bummer. You were awfully specific there, Gil! Is there something you've been hiding? <laughs> yes, your two co-workers' histories are uh, re recurring uh, points of entertainment in this game. <laughs> Apparently, seriously though, did they really think the laws were just trying to pass wooden backfire? They were openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. Wow, it sounds like they tried to do the deus ex human uh, mankind divided bullshit. No matter how many, they have different capabilities you put in between, it's still segregation. And once people start crying segregation like that, you're doomed! This is the PR century. If you're gonna do that, disguise it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, he really said that. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised at how amazing this game actually truly is. <laughs> I mean, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labor, and the plan reached such a developed stage before the media and still fear in the public. The general fear that augmented people would become power-hungry maniacs! Really? Really? They, you wouldn't think that someone who could punch through concrete walls wouldn't just get a little bit power-happy? <laughs> Trying to get a full picture of everything might take this guy back behind the Industrial Revolution. What was pre-train London like? Oh dear. <laughs> Is it me or does this guy look like a dildo of a mustache? Without the scholarship, there would have been the language barrier. I mean, I was kind of excited back then because I really was into the whole Chinese idol band. It's it's one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. You'd be surprised how easy Chinese can... Wow! Wow, he really is a sexist chauvinist pig! Yup. <laughs> he is an asshole. <laughs> <sighs> the only translator I had available was some pizza face pencil net. And I wasn't going to allow myself to be seen with that. If someone likes me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well, I'm guessing a scholarship student might have a chance. Why do I feel like he suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese? Because he did! He walked in, took his beer, swigged the whole thing down, and then threw down a Chinese book with a gauntlet and said, I dare you! <laughs> When you yeah, say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Tangerine? Cantor what? <laughs> when people cite Chinese, they're usually referring to written word, not spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are a lot of dialects in Chinese language. Tell me about it. My former Chinese roommate told me shitloads. 
So, Oh, yes. I have to wait till I have 10,000 subscribers? Ouch. Ouch, I'm only up to five. Ouch. I'm wounded. <laughs> I've wounded my pride. Actually, I'm not quite up to five. I'm still too short. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, so you're saying Chinese won't do? You might have learned Cantonese because you were only going to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin because it's the one spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong and managed to seal the deal. I have no idea about anything else. Right. <laughs> anyway, surely a student with a scholarship can serve me a Mars blast too, right? Sure, I'm on it. Yeah, he's an asshole. <laughs> Six shots of horse piss and horse cum mixed together. Some powdered Delta Force. Let's give him enough formaldehyde to kill him. Just enough to kill him. And just enough alcohol so he doesn't taste the formaldehyde. And blend it! Here you go! Mommy's- What? Alright, I guess I believe your story right. Hey kid, I got I, I got wasted yesterday, so there's a certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if I said anything someone could use against me in the court of law? Unless complaining about your investors can be used as a legal weapon, I think you're good. No, I want have something to say about Mr. Johnson who gives me six million dollars. He is a total asshat. Two days later, you've been served, motherfucker. <laughs> now get the handcuffs on and get on the bed. What? The serve says you're gonna get served kinky style. <laughs> and I can say these things with a straight, dead serious face. How they want unreasonable stuff, how they make them feel they more valuable to do and all that. Yeah, I recall something like that, but then again, it seems to be something I can say a lot when I'm drunk. That and racial slurs in German. Yes, he says that. Racial this... slurs in German. Now I wish we had Manol here to give us racial slurs in German. Wait, we have Von Holtz! <laughs> who's not German. German. <laughs> oh, dear. See you later, Robert. Have fun. Hugs, thanks for stopping by. Racial slurs in what? But let me tell you something. There are a lot of people worse than your investors. Who? Your clients. Wow! Do you have everyone <laughs> to complain about? <laughs> Excuse me? Your readers, if you think clients are always white, then you're wrong, unless I'm the client, that is. Well, live in an era where PR is the first and only word in anything. Yeah. <laughs> Cyberpunk Slaneshi Police of New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> that went from, this could be good and oh my god, Kim Kardashian's going to rape me. <laughs> <laughs> but one fucking mistake and it's over for you, so they criminal them. No chance of appeal. God forbid if they ever catch you catch something you said out of context a month ago we had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in an article about cougars in nearby forests yes because young men went out there hoping to get snatched up by rich cougars who live in the forest what is this cyberpunk f cougar fairies <laughs> All because we got a pack of 40-year-old divorced soccer moms crying about hurt feelings. <laughs> I was right. I was totally right. They were having picnic parties in the same forest and thought we were writing about them. Uh, Maybe you were secretly writing about them, and if we take things out of context? <laughs> God, I hope at least one of them gets eaten by their damn namesake. <laughs> Stop right there, criminal scum! Now strip and bend over for the Slanesh police! <laughs> yeah, it's funny when somebody hears it, but the smell of rosy perfume still makes my blood boil. <laughs> Nowadays, nobody can take a joke, they're all out for blood. You can't win, you will always offend someone. Yeah, you will! You really will always offend someone! That's why I said to hell with it, I'll tell the truth about everything and offend whoever, and you know what, they can bite my big bubbly butt. <laughs> anyway, take some time graciously, making many just love feeling insulted. They relish the thought of ganging up against something. God, you talk about people like they're a mass mob ready to jump on someone and murder rate. Oh my god, we really are. <laughs> 
You, sir, have just given a divine political revolution about how the fact that we are totally ready to jump on someone and tear them apart. I am now reminded of the South Park episode involving Britney Spears and corn harvests. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and those hypersensitive bastards are your clients. They're the ones you have to target. Run a, I run a goddamn newspaper. The whole point is to present the news in the most neutral way possible. Being offended by his newspaper is like being angry at the mirror! Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the I fucking hate you? Smash, 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 smash. <laughs> oh, dear. Not like he's totally wrong, but hearing it from him is kind of... Damn, look at the time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? Yeah, I just finished an interview and it, and it must be posted as soon as possible. The fact that we're posting it after the chick finished her concert is enough of a problem already. Something delayed the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns! This meek little girl was supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason, she was passed out in my bar, if you must know. She, could, she just didn't. I spent two days negotiating something else instead. Negotiating? Did you have to pay or something? Basically, when the encore concert happens, I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay, then one last drink before I leave. Give me something bitter to wake me up. Sure. What did we give him? Um, I think a gut punch is actually bitter. And that's got optional carmatine in it. Yeah, yeah. Just and he says some drink. alcohol might help too. Here you go. Here, have a gut punch with just a little alcohol. <laughs> Man, that guy's producer was angry as fuck! Trying to negotiate him was a hassle. Trying to negotiate him. Did you have to walk in and literally bend over and go, okay, how many times are you going to have to do me before you agree to the interview? <laughs> I had less problems dealing with social justice warriors. I'm surprised you didn't just fit it in the commentary and just see what happened to him. <laughs> that so, that, that vigilant, that mafia vigilante group that runs around solving crimes in swimsuits. <laughs> oh, you've hit the, uh... You found the SoCal Justice Warriors, have you? <laughs> How much more entertaining would, would would police videos be if the police were chasing people down in bikinis? Uh, they do every now and again. No, as in the police officer had a utility belt on and a bikini oh. and a hat and that's it. <laughs> You know, they have, like, their badge and badge number tattooed on their skin, so it, it <laughs> works. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, they, those artificially blonde, artificially tan folks with big blunt objects. They're all an interesting <laughs> group, you know. They only accept people born or raised in Southern California and go through hellish training on a daily basis. They have to. No normal person can run around in swimsuits in this cold weather. They have an interesting view on the world and how it works. They're pretty si sensitive, too. Too many outlets have insulted them in the past, so they're tr are tricky happy about DEFORMATION! <laughs> you know, like the guy who's had all of his stuff taken down from Steam, who doesn't understand what DEFORMATION IS! <laughs> well, yeah. I've had a dozen guys in Speedos. Are they a dozen, like, hot guys in Speedos, or are they a dozen, like, pig fat guys who, like, the, the jelly rolls probably have food hidden in them in Speedos? Well, they, well they're, so, they're South California, so... And they were still more polite than the... Per I'm not gonna ask how they were more polite, or if you're secretly gay. <laughs> Thinking about a banana hammock move at the same time as a bag of batteries was more pleasant. <laughs> now I know you're secretly gay because banana hammock is a gay word for speedo thong. Yep. <laughs> oh dear God. Makara, why do you scar us all? I'm pretty sure there's a banana hammock and bags of batteries audience out there somewhere. Yeah? Yeah, Makara just showed it to us in chat! 
<laughs> that was um tiring. Hey Jill, I think I have a problem. Don't tell me. Yep, I can't take the helmet off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. Did you check the internet for help? How to take off a Valkyrie type white headed helmet is not precisely a common query, you know. <laughs> I could break it, but I don't want to damage the client's proper Wait, did you run out of air? I just realized you served a Valkyrie in Valhalla. <laughs> that should be an achievement. And Gil is dying laughing. Shit, don't scare me like that! I don't think I can run out of air in this helmet. What are you gonna do? I don't know, someone might help me. I might give her a call. Let's see, where was her number? Oh, here it is. Hey, Iris! I need some unclogging advice. I've heard Chief call her a couple of times. Maybe she's a friend. More importantly, will Chief be fine? She will, even if there's no God or Buddha, you can always trust boss. Wow! Wow! And yes, Makara, clearly you need to time yourself out a little bit. This is our, this is also going to be the last reminder. Um, I would, We need some support on the stream here, guys. If we make three three more stream tip goals this, this week, meaning this one, the one at the... Uh, at the Dark Heresy game, or the one on Saturday. We need to make two of the three of them, and I have to play Undertale. Dorothy. Hey, honey, can you see me? Oh, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really? Man, did they did they sell me the wrong stuff? Who sold you invisible cream? <laughs> I'm going out to buy a screwdriver and bacon. Let's think about this statement for a moment. The two have nothing in common, and surely are not. Is my boss secretly a cyborg who has to cook her bacon with a screwdriver? They sold me a Vic Jammer, not an optic camouflage. Yet, yeah, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos of someone stripping or undressing? But I mean, the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see and the other person is invisible. Come again? There's people out there with a fetish for invisible people. What? <laughs> There's fetish for invisible people while we rub bacon on a helmet to make it come off. <laughs> what kind of world is this? <laughs> I need answers. The, the deeper I go, I get no answers. Just more questions. I'm okay, Skullman. How are you today? You have a point. Oh well. I've worked something out. Maybe. Maybe I'll get a nano camo module. Nano camo? Haven't you heard of nano camo? Nope. They're a military technology company that recently branched to civilian appliances. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials. Any color or texture you want. Hey Zane! How are you doing? Got to make two more stream tip goals, Azani, to get the uh, to get me to play Undertale this week, uh, now starting next week. What does that have to do with what you want, though? Oh, if I remember correctly, they have a mod module that makes al things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey last I checked, though. Almost to the human eye? Well, it's not perfect. If you move, you'll be an eerie surrounding colored blob. Oh, so they give you predator camo. That's amazing! <laughs> you want a piano woman? Alright. We shall make you a piano woman. 
with five shots of artificial super sugar made by Coca-Cola. Hashtag trademark. <laughs> five shots of horse piss and horse cum mixed together straight from Boston. Some powdered Delta Force members. Three shots of formaldehyde. And three shots of pure ethanol. Don't give Dorothy ideas. It seemed like a good idea at the time. When you work out who she is, don't give her, don't give her ideas. But it seems like to, I, I'm a champion of Slanesh. I, I I give people ideas to enable them. Slanesh is very deep in this world, hissing walnuts. So deep that I don't know that Slanesh could ever pull back out again. I think Slanesh just has to accept that this is her permanent sleeve. Yes. And I said all of that with a straight face. Now you have this image in your head, and you can't get it out. <laughs> but yes, take a note of Piano Woman when it Remember comes to that. Dorothy. That guy was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad it was filled to the brim with dogs. I would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. I don't think this ticket should be valid. But then again, they were here. They were improvised. So there isn't a contract or anything. You know? Hmm? If you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we sh could hit an arrangement. Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay if you want to get naughty, though. I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does that. Do you pay him, too? Finish that sentence, and I'll make sure you're... <laughs> well, well, I think I have a cat that already does that. Do you pay him to finish this sentence, and I will make sure you truly become <laughs> invisible permanently? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe she's into that thing. Maybe she's just covering up the fact she's into that thing. And that Foe, the reason Foe 4 can actually talk is because Foe 4 is secretly used to be a human who's now been turned into a black cat who is now Jill's lover. Well. The triangle of fuckery I just mixed together pales in comparison to the drink I'm going to serve you later to hope you forget the image that I've planted in your head. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Consider this a standing offer, though. Oh, hey, John. Hi, Dorothy. Didn't see you there last Friday. I was dealing with some stuff over the weekend. And Monday! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it a girl? I wish. Was it a boy, then? You'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey, what did he do? Gil's been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. <laughs> I just made Jill into a furry lover, and not the and the total freak kind of furry lover. Not even like the cute Nico girl. Like, oh my God, that's too furry for even Fiora. <laughs> this past is like a nebulous mask that tries to bite him every once in a while. Nebulous. You hear so, so much random stuff; it's hard to make connections about what happened when. And you know, people lie. I will hug you, kiss you, and slap you. Not necessarily in that order. Well, Makara, you did ask for this, so here's your hug your kiss, and your slap, as standard when you come in. Here's your gut punch! Wow. I injected the alcohol with my fist. Because <laughs> he literally wrote in the comment, a gut punch, please, bartender. Wow. <laughs> she said I'm not one to team. Seems like she knows what the hell's going on, but I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really necessary, and it's a complete pain to talk about. Um, I'm right here, you know. Did you tell any lies? No, but... Never mind. Gil is totally Gein. Gil is 100% Gein. Like, that is Gein if Gein was in Cyberpunkdom. And the boy. Hang on a minute, people. Uh, I have... Sophie has woken up and I wish to uh, say hello to her real quick. Cool. Okay. Saying hello and I love you has been accomplished. And what about your boss? Why was she wearing a helmet? By the way, we technically hit the half over the halfway point, so I have to put on the ears now. Yay! 
We're gonna be blaming the corgis for a while. She found it, she put it on, now she's stuck. Oh yeah, randomly putting stuff on you find is problematic. <laughs> you know, when when the prostitute comes in and says randomly putting on stuff is problematic, I have to ask, what have you put on that was problematic? Like, I really want to know now. <laughs> I mean, the, there's this girl that wanted to see if she could no use glasses. <laughs> there's this girl that wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a... Please, finish the sentence. I must have it. A bit early for those stories, don't you think? Nope! By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know. Yeah, but you usually come before you start. Ah, uh, did you miss me that much? I think you're the most entertaining person who's walked in so far. And by far the most likable in my book. Dorothy's awesome. <laughs> It was weird, but not kinky weird. Dorothy, what is your definition of kinky weird? The guy pinned me to spend all day pretending to be his daughter. Holy shit! Made the connection? <laughs> he really does pay someone once a year to be his daughter for a day! Yep. I got to his house at 11, dressed as requested, and spent the entire day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, go to bed when ordered, and leave. Nothing sexual. I used to expect I, I, I used to expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me. That... <laughs> that after three years is unlikely it'll ever happen. You've done this for three... Now I know the guy really did fuck the puppies. What? <laughs> he really does hire someone to go pretend to be his daughter once a year for a day, call him daddy, say I love you, play some games, and go to bed when ordered and leave. Therefore, in my book, he really did try to fuck the puppies, and that's why the corgis completely fucked up our bathroom. Because they were all fucked by him as puppies. He says that you can't and that you shouldn't. And he said at least not with pit bulls. No, that's what somebody in chat said. He also wanted me to play the part on his daughter's birthday. Wait a second. Does he have a daughter or not? Had. Seems she died four years ago. Oh. Yep, I seem to attract that kind of person for some reason. What kind of person? Nobody! I said nothing! I know nothing! <laughs> no way I can do it right. I know nothing! There we go. Hogan Hero, you should be proud of me. No, give me a moon blast, yeah. would you? Sure, I'll give you a moon blast. I'll give you a moon blast straight out of here. Wow, she orders all the fucking sugar. She does. And a little bit of formaldehyde and some powdered dental force operatives and just a little bit of booze. Should I make her a double? Can do. Okay. Oh shit, what's that? I can't make a double. Because it has six of one ingredient. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three no, I, I, I can make a double, never mind. Yeah. Right, so we have to put two of this, and we have to put this all the way to twelve. And we have to put yeah, two of that. Basically put all your other ingredients in and then just fill the rest of the dream. <laughs> Oh, uh, shit. No, don't serve, don't serve, don't serve, don't serve. Try that again. I fucked it up. I didn't wait for it to blend. Ah. Uh, you can't actually serve a messed up drink. Um, the only way to lose the perfect service bonus is if you serve completely the wrong drink. Oh. oh shit. I keep fucking it up. Okay. Let's, let's do this right, Fiora. You got this. It's counting. It's counting with the count. One <laughs> shot of sugar. Twelve shots of sugar, two shots of formaldehyde, two shots of powdered Delta Force operatives who didn't get their VA checks, and four, <laughs> four shots of alcohol. On the rocks, now blend for one, two, three, four, five <laughs> seconds. Yeah, given how simple the gameplay loop on this game is, it is surprising how easy it is just to fuck the drinks up. <laughs> 
40k theory is like, I heard there was heresy, I came as soon as I could. Well, there's the heresy of your cyber dong slapping against the toaster, 40k theories, but that's beside the point. At least you're honest about it. It tastes like a bit of sugar drowned in pure alcohol. A small wonder you feel that. There's something <laughs> I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, I'm single and I don't mind that you're a girl. <laughs> I approve of Dorothy! Can Dorothy please get in my panties already? You do know she's got the body of a 10 to 13 year old, don't you? I could get over the lolly thing eventually. <laughs> it's a bit weirder than that though. She explains it in a later day. Do all DFC-72s look like kids? Yes and no. Out oh, of no, the factory, we look like them. kids because our development needs to be as close to human as possible. Then you look like babies outside the factory? Nope. Every fresh it looks about 10 to 13. It's easy, it makes it easier to upgrade later. Upgrade? Once it even passes three maturity tests, it's, it can opt for a factory upgrade. Set upgrade alters its body to something older. Some go for it, some don't. Will you go through with it? I don't know. Right now, I'm a rarity. You don't find many like me in my line of work, so I have an advantage because you fill a certain niche at being the best lolly hooker ever! <laughs> wow, Cyberpunk New Jersey. I totally believe that we're in Cyberpunk New Jersey in this hellhole of a ball <laughs> bar called Valhalla now. You have truly captured the essence of Cyberpunk New Jersey hell. Congratulations, <laughs> developer. I give kudos. And I really need to take advantage of that, you know? It's not because you're you. The amount of role-playing I have to do on a normal night is ridiculous. So if I start looking underage, I'll lose my advantage over everyone else. I didn't think about it that way. Anyway, um, this is a reminder, guys. If we make two more stream tip goals this week, uh, I have to play Undertale for you guys. And I keep reminding you of that because I would really like to make more stream tip goals this week to see that we can actually do it and that I have to play Undertale because I'm kind of starting to think that I should play Undertale but since I've made that deal with you guys I have to wait for you guys to actually complete the deal before I can actually play Undertale so I've restricted myself Bodan you don't want to know what heresy you've walked into but if you go back and watch the entire stream you'll be terrified but right now I think I'm fine just the way I am I see good evening Jill Welcome to... HOLY SHIT! What's what? the dude's name from, uh, from, uh, from Deus Ex? Oh, um, you're on about... Oh, um... He just walked into the bar! <laughs> Alex that Jensing just walked into the bar! Yep, aka Jamie in this game. It would happen less if Jill, if Jill would just let people call her Jules. Call me Jules and I make sure every time you sit, you'll hear the cling of your shaker. <laughs> Holy shit! That's a suppository that nobody wants! <laughs> Jamie, I just need to finish here. Sure, no hurry. Hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, alright? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist, I got a hefty bonus the other day and I'm in a good mood. I suppose I'll, it'd be impolite of me to reject. Sure, I'll take you up on your offer. Alright honey, I'll have a big sunrise cloud with a gut punch. Rather not. Man, that girl Jenna, puts Jenna. me on edge. <laughs> okay, let me get your orders. Janet uh, says uh, snakes walk onto screen. It's snake pulled. Yes, yes, yes. Cybernetic snake has walked on the screen. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna no. go AFK for a second. Three, four, five. Uh, that, and let's give him a little bit of in it. Aged and mixed. There we go. You have a gut punch, and we also have a new drink: a sunrise cloud. On the rocks. There we go! 
That's how drunk we're gonna make our little robot friend. And we gotta blend it up, which is gonna let it sit for a minute. Here you go! Did that from time to time. <laughs> wow! I made it so alcoholic. She asked if this said about it because I really like this one. Hey Dorothy, may I ask you something private? If you don't, if you need a prize list, I have a convenient card for update. <laughs> wow! <laughs> she liked the super alcoholic drink. Yeah. I don't think you can ask me something I've never done. Is it true that it leaves tracking Hannah machines and, and the other person after well? WHAT?! <laughs> after they violate every hole in your body regardless of its original purpose? <laughs> yes! Well! Well damn! Well damn! I'm a champion of Slanesh! I didn't realize there'd be another champion of Slanesh in the game! <laughs> I don't know why everyone loves gut punches. You think it would be painful. It's true, but not true! We do have tracking <laughs> nanomachines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When you're being assaulted or like that, that way the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kind of buggy, though. I've heard some stories of who marry, get nervous on their wedding night, and BAM! Their partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. I see. And besides, <laughs> I've mod modded myself so that much, so much that if any tracking were still being released, I'd have to commend their tenacity. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! What have you done to yourself? Oh, believe me, she's uh, she's very open-minded about her mods. <laughs> yes, yes, she is, and she even has a price. Does she have like a business card, and on the back is like a scrolling electronic price list? You know what, Meiji Scythe? I agree! Sophie and I should get a Dorothy! Gein, you're being remodeled! <laughs> How much of you is still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. <laughs> Fine! Let's see if I care. Hey, honey, I'm going. I'll leave you to this with the meanie. Well, Dorothy, you can totally live with me! It's cool! I swear, I've already worked it out with Sophie. Everything's good. So long as Sophie can have fun with you, too. That girl's something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does, it's kind of... She's so earnest about what she does, it's kind of hard not to root for her. You're right! Yeah, it is. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever. That becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. Right, I'm gonna go and take my... Gil, I need your girly hands for a second! <laughs> Nah, don't worry. Sorry you'll have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you Just usually seem to have a blast when Gil's the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? <laughs> that I can. He seems also like a guy who wants it exactly as it's stated, so we're going to make it exactly as stated with six shots of horse piss. Where's the right ingredients? All of it's blended. Apparently this guy likes his spicy, manly, strong drink. Uh, I fucked it up. Six of those. One of those. Four of those. Two of those. Blended. I don't think I fucked it up this time. There we go. Mars Blast. Here you go. 
Bitter and mind-numbing, just like war. God damn it, Alex Jensen, why are you here? Explain <laughs> it to me. Intrigue me about the reason why you're here. Wow, he hasn't been to an official war. Yeah. <laughs> you're totally... Totally him. Yep. <laughs> First, it was how a professional assassin could be polite and, uh, and pleasant to be around. But I guess your line of work doesn't have any bearing on your personality. Yep. <laughs> well, we found the nicest, most polite professional assassin ever. I bet he walks up to his targets and goes, I hope you don't mind terribly, but I have to kill you now. Depends if that's going to leave witnesses or not. Makara does ask an interesting question. Is the priceless updating cards in real time, depending on wear and tear? That's why I said probably. This is Dorothy. She's... What? She's got a sense of I've often wondered about is how you can be so calm <laughs> here. Aren't you worried about police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicion. And finally, you can thank your boss for easing my mind around other folks. My boss? What has her boss really done that everyone's like, holy shit, that person? <laughs> oh, dear. Apparently, Alex, Jens Alex Jensen can go haywire. To know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? I heard she lost her original fighting a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue. Just a rumor, though. See you later, Inzane. It's more interesting if it's left a mystery. <laughs> Which leads me to believe she might have started the rumors herself. I think she started the rumors herself! I'll see her in action one day. You should. It's quite the show. Good news, Gil. The helmet came off and you can take your break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss break. All right. See? 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 Jill literally just has body proportions like mine. <laughs> you guys thought I was making that shit up. All right. We're going to save here. Um... This, um, Hetty, this has been one of the most interesting wild rides I've ever had. <laughs> I can't wait to see where it goes or how deep the rabbit hole really is. But oh my god, was this worth it in every way, shape, and form. And we are doing this again next one night for next week for midnight. Cool. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I, I, apparently everyone else enjoyed it too. This is, um... <laughs> Outside of South Park, this is some of the highest numbers we've pulled for a midnight stream, period. Outside of South Park, because Doom was good, but this is <laughs> this has been pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, I am going to request that you guys make sure you hit the like button if you had a good time. And this is a reminder, we are two motherfucking subscribers away. Two. Two. Dos. Deva. I can't think of another word for two. Zvai. There we go. Zvai. A few? No, um, Zvai. Now, we, if we have not made the stream tip goal, but you guys still have the end of post stream to make it, which is in 11 minutes. Um, and this is a reminder that that goal, that if we make two more goals this week, I have to play Undertale. I've been reminding you that this entire time because I want to play Undertale. I made an <laughs> agreement, so I have to keep the agreement. Damn me and my bad agreements. Yes, we have no uh, yeah. fart jokes to work with, but by God, Dorothy gave us plenty of Slanesh material that I didn't see coming. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see coming. You mean the 10 to 13 year old with a 24 year old brain? <laughs> 24 year old brain? She has a brain dirtier than mine! That's an accomplishment! She gets like an achievement for that shit! <laughs> Jeremy Hummelson, welcome to the Army of Fiora. We are one away, one subscriber away. Is this going to be it? Is this going to be it? We got 10 <laughs> minutes to find out. And uh, we're $20 off from the from the midnight goal, but meh. Uh, but yeah, we got 10 minutes to find out. So do you guys have any questions or comments or anything you guys want to talk about? 
I'm an open book right now. Yes, the foxes are gathered behind my half-made bed watching you all. Staring at you intently. Waiting for what you have to ask. Yes, you did provide the totally not safe for work entertainment. I'm actually going to have to label the stream not safe for work. <laughs> it is truly amazing, Makara, what you can fit in a nostril. I imagine Dorothy could tell us. Probably. <laughs> yes, Jeremy. We're in post stream, Jeremy. I'm 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 coming down and and talking. Ooh, is is Jeremy going to tip us over the edge? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm switching back to something. Are you ready? Go on. Are you ready? Here's the live number. Ah. No, that, no, is no, that, no, is that, no, 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 no. That is 5K, bitches. That is 5K in the army of Fiori. You guys are amazing. Thank yeah, you. <laughs> I think I just woke up all my roommates. And? <laughs> that is 5,000 subscribers, ladies and gentlemen, right there for all of you to see right now. <laughs> And does that welcome welcome Jasper? Um I welcome Jeremy. I didn't get I haven't got the next subscribe email yet, so I'm not sure who the five thousandth person is, but whoever it is, I am gonna like have so much fun with their name when I get that welcome mat because I am literally gonna call them out on it. But yeah, that's uh that's that's five thousand guys. We we hit it. It happened. Yay! Five thousand took them so damn long to subscribe. And then we have, and then we immediately lost two. Who's the dick? Ugh. Who's the dick? Really? I got so happy, and then two people went. Nope, we're done. I see how it is. Immediately dropped two. Uh huh. Really? Uh huh. Really? Really, guys? Really? 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 Seriously? Truly? Are you? Are you? <sighs> I got so happy, and then you had to take it away you from know. me. You couldn't just let me have it for a day. A day is all I... Oh, we're back up to one away now. You couldn't just let me have it for the day. Oh, Panzerkampf wagon, you ass. You know I get a notification when you, when you resubscribe, right? <laughs> you troll... God, I just got trolled by my own minions. You. <laughs> Come here. Nope, nope. We're, 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 we're running the brush through your hair. We're going to see what happens when I run the brush through your hair with the artificial super sugar in it. <laughs> and the corgi stuff from out of the bathroom. No, don't do that. Do not do that. You'll have the shortest haircut in history when we're done. Ah, uh, no, we're, we're going to be one short. That's okay. We've been up to one short before. Like, like we were one short two days ago. You know, it fluxes up and down. It can't just always be up. Anyway. True. So, anybody got any questions, comments, thoughts, craziness, insanity? Oh, just wait. Just wait for things to get, get into the later days. It gets better. It gets better, you say. You know, I'm prepping the next minute. I've almost finished... Actually, I finished the next Minute Arms video script entirely. Uh, we're recording cool. it Saturday. Cool. You got a clue on what it is? Um, it involves zombies. Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, this is the last chance to donate. I'm closing stream tip now after I announce the people who have donated. Thank you to Hetty, Tom Curry, Robert, and Makara for your donations. And Tom and Makara, you are tied for first place tonight. Thanks, nice guys. Nice one, guys. And by the way, Jeremy Husslein, welcome to the Army of Fiora. I'm glad you just watched my uh, Puma review. 
Um, the VBL went up yesterday. Because of midnight stream, there are no videos tonight. I didn't have time to record and render. So I've recorded but not rendered the new videos that were supposed to go out. Because I ran out of time. I'm sorry. Spent the afternoon with Sophie having, you know, very good afternoon now that she's got her plane ticket ready. Hello, Jeez. Deadpool! How are you doing? Are you going to step into my room now and just come, just like, step into my room and still be typing in the chat to talk to me? Because that would be amazing. I'm now looking <laughs> at the door expecting Deadpool to walk in. Not coming? Damn. Uh, He's supposed to break the fourth wall all the time. I know, right? I could just imagine him, like, walking in, sitting on his phone, still typing on his phone. Typing into the chat on his phone, and I look up and I'm like, did he just, does he, like, just gonna stand there on the camera? <laughs> I don't want to know what a dong tip is. Vietnamese dong. Yes, Panzer, I'm making a video of how to make videos. That seems redundantly silly, but I'm doing it. V Vietnam's currency is called the dong. Also, a reminder, next week we are starting, uh... Armored Warfare train Boot Camp, I believe is the term we're using. Armored Warfare Boot Camp with Divine Intervention, which is the TeamSpeak I'm currently sitting in. And if you record, and if you come, and if you want to join us on TeamSpeak, you totally can. I can move you into the room. You just have to let me know you're sitting there waiting, and I'll go up to the entrance hall and yoink you. Yoink. Yoink. Did you miss me, Von Holtz? Yeah, actually, I did. I was kind of wondering, you know, people haven't been around on the old team speak because I didn't know that it got switched. Will you make a video about how to make the video about making videos? As Down a matter Makara. of fact, as a matter of fact, Makara, I will record it once and then go through and record it again and use the original recording in order to render the video and use it as the example. I will incept I will videoception the shit out of it. <laughs> boot camp is where I'm going to be training people in certain aspects of the game and showing them how certain things work for armored warfare such as view range, camouflage, uh, accuracy rating, how to fit your tanks properly depending upon their tier, so on and so forth, and how to specialize yourself out for different roles such as scout, uh, frontline brawler, all those kind of things. You know what people like to do. And don't camp spawn. Oh yeah, and how to be aggressive and win. Instead of spawn camping like a noob. But, but I like people who spawn camp. They're easy to kill. <laughs> I know, right? Right? You, they're just sitting there spawn camping. And I drive up behind them in my fox. And I literally put the barrel to the back of their tank's head. And I'm like, do you, you still don't realize I'm here? Daka, 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 daka. Do you know I'm here now? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you just lose most of your hit points? <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. Anyway, um, Divine Intervention has invited us to the community. Um, also, I've been invited officially with Sophie to do their new tournament that's coming up. I can't tell, give you any details about the tournament whatsoever, but I know that they are going to be running a tournament that's coming up that's going to be something uh, officially sponsored. I can't give you any more details. Awesome. That. So thanks for hanging out at midnight. That'll be interesting to see how that pans out. Anyway, um, we did not make the stream tip goal tonight, sadly, so we have to make tomorrow night and Saturday or next week the deal starts back over. Uh, half the stream tip goals for the week are made, and I will play Undertale. Anyway, uh, cool. that's everything, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Oh, thank you for streaming that for you. It's been awesome to be a part of. This is an awesome, amazing game. More people should know about it. <laughs> I still haven't even figured out what the hell's going on. <laughs> Good. Good. Mission accomplished. From my house to yours, this has been Fiora, and I will see all of you guys uh, next time. Yes, that would be tonight. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> tonight. On your perspective. <laughs>
Now it's officially goodbye. Hugs. Hearts. Slap! Because you can't get cocky. A kiss to make it better. Bye, guys.